Hello, I'm Scott with Psalms Photography, and today we're going to talk about triggers and how to get them all to play together, even though they're different frequencies, different companies. Here we have the Godox RT16, we have the FT16 or the CLTX, we have an Ellen Chrome Skyport, we have the YN622CTX. We also have the YN622C, and we have the Cactus V6. Now, every one of those are made by a different manufacturer. None of them have uh, matching channels or frequencies. Here we have the TSH120. Normally, when you see this system in use, it has three speed lights mounted to it, and they're all being triggered using one trigger using a 3.5 jack right here into the side. Well, this is how we're going to set this up. I'm going to use the Godex RT16s. I'm going to actually take the RT16 trigger mount it straight into the 3.5 jack. I'm going to mount the FT16 or the CLTX, the Skyport, a YN622TX there. Every one of them are different frequency. Every one of them are on a different channel. The only channel that matters is the one that's right here. Because when I hit this button, or when I trigger my camera, it doesn't make a difference. Every one of these will trigger. And of course, I hardly use the Skyport anymore, so let's mount the Cactus V6 on there. And what's nice is this is always set next to my camera when I'm shooting, and it's always on a stand. And I can adjust the independent power ratios from my camera. So I can sit there, and if I'm using a 360, a 180, an 850, an 860V, or the CL600, I can control my power settings and all I need is this one just to trigger them. We want to go a little more advanced. <clears throat> if your speed light or your strobe handles high speed sync or has uh, a long flash duration, here's how I handle my high speed sync. I use the YN622CTX on my camera. I take a YN622C, I take it and mount a sync cable onto it, I mount that into the 3.5 jack. The only thing that's transmitting and sending the high speed sync uh, data between each other are these two triggers and receivers, this trigger and this receiver. So this is syncing your camera into high speed sync, this is sending the firing signal to here, which is actually sending just a, a triggering signal out of here to this uh, TS. Well, I know the um, 360, the 180, the 850, and the 860C, or if you're using the other Godox um, HD strobes, this uh, that handles high speed sync, this is the trigger. And of course, I can adjust my power settings from here um, and since this is only a firing signal between here and here I can take this Godox RT16 transmitter put it right into the hot shoe and I can mount these into my other units um, that do not um, I don't have enough of these for or whatever. So now this, since this is only a signal being shot from here to here, this is a signal just being shot from here to here. So now the Jim Buy or um, any of the off brands that I have that um, support fast sync trigger from this unit. Um, well, this whole video has been being shot with the new prototype um, 
modeling light. It is set to its lowest power. It is a 2000 or yeah, 2000 watt luminance um, light, and that's 300 luminance brighter than most standard uh, headlights on a car, which is actually 1700 luminance. Um, it's set to its lowest power, so it's below what the standard headlight is on a car. And um, of course, it's working very well. And for shooting video, or for shooting video, it works fine. For when uh, using it as a modeling light, of course, I'm gonna put it in a higher power because uh, it actually has to shoot through the transfusion or translucent materials. Well, my name is Scott Michelle, I'm from Photography, and thank you for watching.